Over the last few years we've seen quite a lot of mini consoles released from the Nintendo Entertainment System Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini to the PlayStation Classic and even recently the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics Mini. Today though I'm just going to quickly show you one that I've been waiting for to be released for quite some time. And admittedly it is completely different than the others because it has one major difference. This is a Sega Saturn. Now as you can see this is a regular size Sega Saturn with my memory card stuck in the back. I don't know why I keep it. No that thing's fried. It's my original model which has lasted far greater than some of the PlayStations that I've had. And this is the Sega Saturn Mini. As you can probably tell there's a bit of a difference in size and definitely in weight because this is starting to hurt my arm. Compared to some of the other mini consoles it is a little bit smaller again. For example here's the PS1 Classic. It's a little bit smaller but you know as you can see still roughly about the same size. The Core Graphics Mini which again seems to fit just inside it and it's about the same thickness. Or even the original NES Mini which is quite a chunky beast when you compare the two. Probably the other big difference from all these other consoles is this, the controller, and if you haven't figured out what's going on, this should probably allude you to it. So yeah, if you haven't figured it out by now, this Sega Saturn Mini is actually from this. It's a model kit of a Sega Saturn instead. This thing can't play any games, so there's physically no way it can unless you were to jam a Raspberry Pi into it or something. This is a two-fifth scale replica of a Sega Saturn. The build itself is actually really fun, although I'm not going to lie, I did actually cock up a few times with it. You'd think after making all of the Gundam models that I make, I would know how to follow instructions, but apparently I don't. There's not that many components that need to be assembled to make this. You've got the outer casing, the internal organs such as the PCB and the disk drive. You even have to assemble the lid mechanism and the memory card slash RAM port in the back of it. There's even nice little touches such as being able to open up the panel to replace the battery in the back for save memory. Annoyingly, it does use stickers though, and I am crap at applying stickers. And considering the size of them, they're a pain in the ass to do. But it is called the lid actually does function, admittedly not that great, but it does work. The same can be said for the disk drive, it does actually spin the disk round which is pretty sweet, and it does come with three different stickers you can put onto your disk. It does only come with one controller, and to be honest, as you're not going to be playing with it, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Though trying to put the wire into the controller port is really awkward and fiddly. So overall this is a pretty nifty model kit, I mean you could technically just take it apart and have a look at the internals which I haven't actually painted or done anything with because well, I mean why would you want to do that when you can actually have a look at it this way. But it is cool how things like even the disc does spin and the fact that you can get to the battery backup if you needed to. There's even details like the serial numbers on the back and the warning labels on the bottom and you can apply all the rest of the stickers as well it's just like I say I'm crap at doing them. I'm sure there's probably some clever person out there that could probably make this functional. So would I recommend picking one of these up? But if you like the history of the Sega Saturn then I don't see why you shouldn't. They're relatively cheap and they're not hard to come by. It does look really nice and does look like it should be a functioning mini so if you were to stack it up against the rest of them if you had say more in a collection then it wouldn't stand out other than the fact that it doesn't work whatsoever. The only problem I have with it isn't anything to do with the kit whatsoever. It's the fact that I bought this one and somehow managed to buy a second one as well. Now I have two of them and I don't really know what I'm going to do with the second one. That's just an error on my part though, and to be honest, having the other one means I can potentially even do some customization with it. I could even turn it into one of the white Japanese variants. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where I got mine from, which is the same place I get all of my Gundam stuff from, gundammad.co.uk. But if you're a diehard Sega Saturn fan, I think you really enjoy having one, let alone the fact that the build only takes roughly about 20 to 25 minutes. But anyway, this has just been a quick short review of the Sega Saturn Mini. I mean, that isn't not even called that, it's just, what is it even called? The Best Hit Chronicle 2 over 5. Japanese words HST 3200. Anyway, this was just a brief overview of the Sega Saturn model kit. I've been Tom from Vitro Gaming. Thanks for watching and have a good gaming day.